Day five, uh, we are up at 6.30 in the morning because today we're hoping that they do two cases. So uh, we're gonna set off very shortly, go to the hospital, set up nice and quick and get the first case done in a decent time so we can uh, crack on with the second. Go well, go fast. <laughs> Good morning, Ian. <laughs> cool. Go, save some lives. Save some lives. <laughs> Okay, so we have an 18 year old day one post op after a clip ligation of her PD. Past medical history, she has occasional chest pain, shortness of breath, palpitations. Um, she's got a dilated left ventricle and moderate pulmonary hypertension. Yeah, so this is Juliana, and you had uh, an operation yesterday. And how, how do you feel? <laughs> You're feeling good, are you? That's great. And this is mum. How, how has she done? Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Yeah, well it all went very well and hopefully we can get you up and walking today and that'd be really good and uh, hopefully you can look forward to being very healthy for lots and lots of years in the future. Yeah, well done. Good stuff. <laughs> so Elizabeth has had a good night. She is now day three after a mechanical MPR. She's got severely impaired right ventricle and she's still got a tricuspid greater regurg. Um, issue she needed lower bone to come off bypass, that was stopped yesterday. She's still in AF, was on amiodrone, had some dejection yesterday. Her weight's been better overnight. She's a bit fast now, probably because we're all standing here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be that once. That's right. Isaac. Okay. This is Isaac. I was forgotten. Yesterday he was not calm in bed. And then conscious and alert, he's been getting out of bed to ambulate. And then we started with the chest physiotherapy yesterday night. I was just going to say, so it's the end of your night, Steve and Fiona. And uh, last time when we came, it was quite a thing doing the nights, wasn't it? But how are the nights going? Uh, this time. Yeah, much better. Last night was our first night and it was much better um, because we're just doing shifts this time so we've got a bit of time off and we've also got our own staff handing over to us um, and everything's organised. We've got a team of five nurses this time as opposed to two nurses which has been much better um, and also the local team are much better having been to James Cook so they've got lots of knowledge and skills and full of enthusiasm and motivation so huge difference really pleased okay. have you been finding it Stephen your first uh, time here really enjoyable actually it's different to what you expected incredibly different um, you can't really prepare yourself for it uh, we had a, a little tour of the hospital last night and we saw some uh, rather unsavory sights shall we say but uh, yeah, as Fiona said, the local team have been fantastic. We've had to do very little with more here just to support and help teach. So Thomas, so you had a pacemaker yeah, it's pacemaker. Uh, six that's months ago. 26 February that we did this year. That's right, yeah. And, um, and how do you feel now after your pacemaker? Well, what about his great time? Everything is going on smoothly. Yeah, fantastic. And you walking further? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to be walking with no old age. You yeah. can do as we, we, we yeah. supposed to do. Yeah, you look fantastic. Well, well yeah. done. Okay. And uh, well done, Andy, for, for putting that pacemaker in. Yeah. Okay, everybody ready for the who? Okay, so Agata is 67. She has severe aortic stenosis. Yeah. Left ventricular hypertrophy. Yes. And good left ventricular function. Our plan today is to do an aortic valve replacement with a tissue aortic valve. We're going to use the Edwards Resilia valve. Um, and we're going to do that to rest tomorrow. The substitute is... Uh, 
Right. Guys, yeah. I'm going to run a little bit of cardioplegia uh, down the coronary osteo. How long since the last cardioplegia we gave? Uh, 20 minutes. Uh, and yeah. run. Yeah, With 200. Brilliant, so um, we've just operated on a six or seven year old lady who has severe aortic stenosis. She was uh, short of breath with minimal exertion, so she could only walk about 50 yards. Uh, it's been a fairly um, straightforward operation, so we're very pleased the team are coming together and working well. Here we are on uh, Thursday morning and we're just uh, <coughs> checking the, the, the pacemaker that was implanted in this lady yesterday. Uh, she's been well overnight and she'll be ready to go home as soon as we've done this pacemaker check. Yeah. So one of the key steps to Zara's involvement in this mission is that um, the pacemaker battery life is very much dependent on the pacemaker settings. So if the pacemaker is implanted and isn't set up properly, it draws large amounts of energy from the pacemaker and the battery runs down quickly. And what we're finding is that by reviewing patients who've previously had pacemakers implanted and by improving the pacemaker settings, we can spin out the battery life for many years longer. So by the press of a few button clicks, we can see battery lives extended from one or two years to five or eight years. But also the big difference here is that these are reconditioned pacemakers, yes. not brand new ones. So uh, how are you finding the life on those because you are checking them? Yeah, we're checking them before implant and um, they're variable, but um, this lady's pacemaker's estimated battery life is eight years, which is uh, not far short of, uh, of, of, of a, new, a new pacemaker. It's a good plan. So, um, Kamasi, which is Ghana's second largest city, um, is just getting going in this hospital with pacemaker insertion. A neighbouring unit has a an interventional radiology suite, which we have been invited to use to do Kamasi's very first coronary angiograms. And this is the first steps in uh, managing patients who have not just electrical heart disease, which is what pacemakers are all about, but who have coronary heart disease, which is a big killer in this part of the world. So we're going today, hopefully, to do Kamasi's first coronary angiogram. Siemens Artis Z Catalab, which uh, actually is the same manufacturer that we have at North Tees, um, so I'm familiar with it. And this is a, a vascular radiology suite, um, which they use only once a month, so it's basically underused. And they um, have all of the requisite requirements for coronary angiography um, and even coronary intervention. Uh, but the two Ghanaian cardiologists who've done a fellowship in, in coronary disease management in China, it's been a couple of years since they did that, so they aren't current. So uh, they've asked us to help get them started again. And the idea is that they will begin the district's coronary angiography service here, and those patients will feed back into the hospital at Cath, where we've been for the rest of the week. Did you get to 
turn yourself around. Yes, well, after uh, what seeming to what feels like an age, uh, we're just setting up here, so um, the equipment's all loaded on the end of the table, everything is sterile up to the patient's head, and we're getting the pressure line set up, uh, the contrast line, and the ECG's up and running on the screens over there. Um, it just takes longer than you realise for this first time around. And some technical things, interestingly, for example, the installation of the lab has some slight failures. For instance, this thing, um, the, the arm that it's mounted on is back to front. So whereas it should sail high into the sky for our protection, actually it doesn't. It tries to sail into the floor. Um, but anyway, these things are set to trash. 45 degrees. Just go through the skin first and then pause and think what trajectory do I want? Okay, but you to keep nice and still. So now you can take the, the metal needle out. Excellent. Oh, it's going nicely. There you go, carry on. Okay, so out comes the dilator in the wire. Right, so we're going to screen and you're going to advance this, okay? Yeah. Are you screening? Yes. No, no, I'm just keep going. Advance. We are in. We're in the left corridor. Yeah. Oh, that, now he's got it really nice. He has good control. So, Lambert, congratulations. Thank you. This man, Dr. Lambert, has done uh, uh, the first angiogram in Kumasi, which is Ghana's second city. Mm -hmm. uh, which, yes. Which is, it's, a, it's a big deal Thank because... You. Um, You're pleased as well? Yeah. It's a big deal because it's a large city and there's a lot of patients who will need this kind of thing. So, yeah. And yeah. thanks to you, sir, for... Yeah. Yes. For allowing us. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, well done. Thank you. We, 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 we are sure now there's no coronary yeah. disease in this particular patient. This particular patient. Yeah. So that's good to know. Yeah. And hopefully, um, going forward, we should be doing more of these um, in managing patients here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.